Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's a very, very, as you can probably tell from my face there, very, very bright and contrasty day. And I've decided to try and make the most of those conditions by shooting just for the highlights. So the thinking is what I'm going to do is uh, expose for the highlights, throw the vast majority of the image into darkness and uh, see if we can get some interesting and uh, slightly abstract shots. So let's go. If you've followed the channel for a while, or even if you saw my episode of the podcast that was in a couple of weeks ago, uh, you'll know that my big mantra is shoot the difference, shoot the thing that's unique about this uh, visit. Uh, this is a location I've been to many, many, many times. So in order to try and keep it fresh and interesting for me, <laughs> not to mention you, is uh, always trying to deal with the, the changes, the differences. So, you know, rather than shoot the same thing time and again, I'll concentrate on what's unique about this particular visit. And for me, that's usually things like the clouds, um, any wildlife we encounter, if we meet any other people, uh, you know, the weather in general, and it's also very, very still. Very still. Um, so I think there's a very good chance that this loch is going to be very calm, which means reflections, right? Now I have shot reflections here many times before, so that's not really unique, but if it's uh, reflections when there's lots of heather in the area or, you know, the sun's nice or, that, just that little hint of mist that could be quite unique for today another thing I've noticed is there is a lot of colour about it today uh, you know from the purple heathers and the, the green ferns to some nice purple thistles we've got some yellow flowers there's a lot of red berries on the trees so it's not a day for black and white that's for sure Quite like that. You get this early morning light on the trees. You got a burst of colour here with the heather. And then these beautiful wispy clouds up there. And the path actually helps as well, doesn't it? Adds to it. I might grab a shot of that. This could be the first shot of the morning. I grabbed that shot, um, I took a horizontal orientation and a portrait orientation. I'll decide later which one I prefer. I did take some where I included the path and because I felt that gave it some context, it gave it this quite an interesting uh, line leading the eye into the image. Unbelievably calm, isn't it? Right, let's see if I can find some order in all this chaos. I'm just going to be looking for little intimate details, I think. Things like this, actually. I quite like this the way the light's hitting that grass 
but my problem is it's also hitting the background and so the background and the reflection are very bright and I think that makes it very difficult to get an image of the grasses that stand out if I could get them against a darker background that would work similarly over there and that is a darker background I might try and get an image there with the telephoto lens Now we do have just a little hint of mist there and it's being backlit. I just I'm not sure if there's an image there. Because essentially we're shooting directly into the sun, the sun's right there. So I'd have to tilt the camera down. But yeah, it's got a bit of potential, hasn't it? Been photo bombed a little bit by the duck. Right, what do you make of this? I've zoomed in on this one particular clump of backlit uh, grass, and I'm slightly underexposing, and that's allowing me to to really make that stand out from the darker background. Right, this is the little tree that I was talking about and I just emphasise just how quickly you have to work and more importantly how little time you have sometimes when you try to do this kind of photography where you're just picking out little details as the sun isolates them from a, a darker background. The tree behind is now catching the light as well. When I first arrived that wasn't the case so hopefully I've managed to catch it but um, now the effect is kind of ruined. That water really is so calm, so clear. I'm wondering if there's a kind of asp a abstract image to be had with the reflections of the wispy clouds. And I quite like those blades of grass which are sticking up as well. I quite like this, as I said, I'm, I'm interested in this blade of grass here and I've managed to get it where it's inside the reflection of a cloud so it gives it a little bit of contrast and it stands out a wee bit more. I'm loving the light on these other grasses to the side so I've included them. This is pretty much the composition that I'm going for. Very, very minimalist but I really, really like it. And because I'm looking down we're only dealing with the reflections of the sky and no sky at all is in the shot so I can again slightly underexpose it to really emphasise the contrast and where the light's hitting the grass and compared to the, the reflected sky. I'm still shooting with the 70 to 300 millimetre lens. I'm out about 90 millimetre so in theory I could have swapped over to my 20-40-105 but this is the lens that's on the camera, so I'm just going to work with it. Obviously the clouds are moving, as you can see, since I started this little clip, the cloud that was behind this clump of grass has moved, so we don't have that obvious contrast effect anymore. But I think it's only a matter of time before another cloud drifts into the view and we get the whole effect again.
See, that's the beauty of this type of photography. The, the margins are so tight, you know. Just by me, not even the scene changing, but just by me changing my viewpoint by a, a couple of feet, you can, you can pick out the details um, from a slightly different angle. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm, I'm working my way down the loch and we're just looking for little intimate scenes. I love this, the way the light's hitting this tree and that heather around the base. And I think if we threw quite a wide aperture, I could probably throw those distant trees out of focus. I like the way the light is hitting this clump of grass and those little branches that are sticking out of the water. The background again, very dark, so I'm going to expose for the highlights and try and throw the, the background into darkness. And again, we've got a lovely reflection for now. I just hope that duck doesn't come back again. But anyway, we'll worry about that if it does. So yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to zoom in on that and see if we can make that stand out from the darker background. So yeah, this is the image in camera and I quite like that. I might go a little bit wider as well and try and include some of the, the background trees and stuff, but for now, that's the shot. I'm just making my way back along the path and all the while looking out for things like this. You know, high contrast, high contrast, bright light, dark background type images. I just found myself taking photographs of uh, thistles with bumblebees on it. Yeah probably as close to wildlife photography as I'm ever going to get. Right, similar theme again, but what I've done is I've just noticed there's a little leaf uh, down next to the path and it's got water droplets on it and those water droplets are just catching the light and when you zoom right in you can not only see the, the highlight where the light is hitting the water droplet but a reflection of the blue sky above so the water is almost blue and through it you can see the the underlying green of the leaf and it just looks absolutely incredible I've, I've been here about 20 minutes just snapping images of it because the, obviously the light's moving so the reflections are changing but that's absolutely beautiful I've, that's not something I would normally even notice never mind take an image of but because we're in that high contrast kind of uh, mode at the moment um, it just jumped right out at me I thought oh, I've got to grab an image of that so I'm going to stick this on the screen just now. Let me know what you think about it in the comments because I really, really like it.
that's us from another video hope you enjoyed uh, high contrast photography yeah? who are the guests that was really enjoyable um, let me know if you decide to give it a go yourself and uh, in the meantime thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one cheers bye